Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I had a really nice video for you guys. Bad news. I upgraded the carburetor, upgraded the fuel line. As you can see, probably, fuel line is not connected right now. I'm waiting on a regulator. But I had a really nice video. Everything was all planned out, good to go. And something went wrong with the update or the editing software and it deleted everything. Pretty disappointed. Um, I figured out my problem, so it should never happen again. But I just wanted to give you guys an update video. I'll tell you what I did to this thing real quick. Um, there's a fuel pump down by the fuel tank. It is a four to seven PSI Edelbrock fuel pump. The fuel tank lines come off the top of the fuel tank they go around the other side of the frame to the pump. I had this regulator in right in there. It's a twist style regulator. Um, not the greatest regulator in the world. It was leaking. It was terrible. And I made the mistake of having only 5 16 fuel line from the fuel pump all the way up to the carburetor. So I upgraded that to 3 eighths like it should be. And um, I upgraded the carburetor from a 650 to a 800 CFM because I was having bog issues when I'd step on it. My fuel ra air fuel ratio would go dead lean. So that should fix that. But that's what I did in the video that got corrupted. Pretty disappointed. I'll show you the 650 carburetor. Don't mind the noise, please. It's in a, I got it in the 800 CFM box here, so don't be confused. It's, it's the exact same thing as what's in there. It's an AVS2, but it's a 650 versus an 800. Um, in the video, I showed me taking the carburetor off, switching everything over. I had it all planned out real nice, but crap happens. There's nothing you can do. So that's what I did to the LS truck. There's more to come. Plenty more to come. Just real quick here to inform you guys. It is a 6.0 stage two cam, LS6 valve springs, turbo 350, 373 rear end gears, full posi. Um, you might be able to tell in there, or here's another hint. There's definitely more content to come for this thing. Um, I'll show you guys when it comes in getting a fuel regulator on. When I get the fuel regulator on, I will fire this thing up. I will adjust the air fuel mixture screws. Um, I will have that in a video, but I will also make a separate video on adjusting the air fuel mixture screws a little more in depth. So other people other than square body or LS uh, swap square body or LS carburetor, anyone else can use it for any of their Edelbrock carburetors. It's pretty much the same for all carburetors. I will tune it, we'll take it for a ride, I'll uh, be able to see if it made a difference with my air fuel ratio gauge, I'll show you guys if it made a difference or not, even though I don't have any footage of before, I'll explain you and show you what happened and, and if it's fixed or not now, and that'll be in a future video to come, I'm just waiting on a regulator right now, as everybody knows, shipping and the whole nine yards, they're all slow, so... I just wanted to update you guys on the unfortunate events, but that's what I did to the LS truck. Um, here's the other truck. There's my fire truck. There'll be some content on the fire truck. You guys will like that. This is going to be more of a, not necessarily a restoration project. I'm just going to get her up to par. As you can see, there's some things I want to touch up. Like for example, I want to get rid of the green on the inner fenders. The front springs are sagged out. There's also some green on the inner fenders over here that I want to get rid of. Touch it up with some paint. Make it look nice. This puppy's only got 26,000 miles on it. Yeah, you'll see some more on this thing. I don't want to spoil it. So There's plenty of other content to see. There's another square body. There's plenty of content around here. Like, subscribe, please help me get to about a thousand subscribers. I'd love to be over a thousand subscribers. 
the quicker we get to a thousand subscribers, the more videos and time I will make to produce videos for you guys. So you guys can see, can see some square body content. I know there isn't a whole lot of square body specific channels out there. So I would like to give you guys the opportunity to have a square body specific channel. But first, you gotta help me get to a thousand subscribers. So that being said, thank you guys for joining me today. I hope to make a video as soon as I can on the LS truck getting the regulator and tuning it up, getting it good to go. There will be plenty more videos on the LS truck. There will be some fire truck content. That truck needs an oil leak found. So don't worry, there's plenty of content. There's plenty to see. Like, subscribe, comment. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you enjoy. Let me know your suggestions. They'll be greatly appreciated.